Cara from Cara Lee Ford Ceramics and I'm here today to talk you through the three basic stages of throwing on the potter's wheel. Those three stages are centering, coning and cylinders. I'm going to talk you through each of those processes step by step. Let's get started. Okay, so before you start throwing on the wheel, you want to prepare your clay really well. So make sure that you've wedged your clay, make sure there's no air bubbles in it, make sure it's nicely homogenized so there's no dry bits and there's no really wet bits. And you want to make it into a ball like this because you're throwing on a round wheel, which is going around, and making a ball of clay is much better, much easier than cutting something straight out of the bag which is going to have all kinds of angles on it. Now that's going to make it really hard for you to um, try and push that clay into the centre of the wheel. So you want a ball of clay. I just pat my clay into a ball. This is 500 grams of just regular buff stoneware. So when you're on the wheel you want to be as close to the wheel as possible. So I have my stool right up against the uh, side of the wheel here. Um, sometimes the wheel has a built-in seat, so you want to sit as close to the wheel splash pan as you possibly can. So my inner thighs are touching the, um, the splash pan of my wheel. I want to make sure that my pedal is in a comfy position that my leg isn't stretched um, and that my body is kind of, I can put my body weight over the top of the wheel. So if I'm leaning forward from back here and I'm trying to center my clay, I'm gonna have absolutely no upper body strength. So you wanna sit as close to the wheel as possible so that you can use your body in the right way to make sure that you've got enough power to center your clay on the wheel. So one of the main things that you want to remember when you're um, centering your clay is to get your foundation arm, which is I'm um, using my left arm because I'm right-handed, so my wheel is going to be turning anti-clockwise, but if you're left-handed then you want the wheel to be going clockwise and you'll be using your right hand as your foundation. So if you're left-handed you just need to mirror exactly what I'm doing, but it works both ways. So I'm going to be using my left arm, that's going to be my foundation, and I'm going to tuck my left elbow into the crook of my hip. So where my leg joins my body, that's where I want my elbow to be, and that's going to be my foundation arm, and that's going to keep my clay in the centre of the wheel. And that's going to mean that I'm not going to have to use my muscles to centre the clay, I'm using my skeleton, which has got much more support. I also use warm water, just because if you've ever tried to unlock your front door with um, a key when it's really, really cold outside, you know how difficult that is for your hands. So if you're throwing with cold water, then your muscles and your ligaments are going to be cold and they're not going to be as flexible and as easily to respond um, as they would be if you're throwing with warm water. It's always a little bit nicer to throw with as well. So I'm going to get my sponge in my right hand and I use um, a natural sponge here, responsibly sourced, um, and that holds a lot more water in it, and that can provide a constant dribble of water onto my clay so it never gets dry. You don't ever want your clay to get dry while you're throwing because that causes torque, that causes friction, and that means that your clay will be pulled off the center of the wheel. So with my left hand in the crook, of my hip here, so my elbows in the crop of my hip. Clay is going to be being pushed into this part of my hand, that's the only part that I'm, being, that I'm using. I'm not going to use my fingers because if you grab the clay like this then you'll be pulling more water off it, you're going to be making the clay dry and that's going to cause that friction that we don't want. So just this part of my hand I'm going to have my sponge completely full of water in my right hand and that's going to be pushing down. So firstly, I want to throw my clay down into as close to the center as the wheel as possible. It doesn't matter if it's slightly off because that's not the objective here. You're going to be centering it anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly centered. And you want to just give it a quick tap so that it doesn't fly off. 
Now I've got my elbow tucked in my hip and I'm pushing against the clay here just with this part of my hand and I'm keeping the clay moist with the sponge in my right hand and then I'm just going to be leaning in towards the clay and that's going to force that clay down and into the center of my wheel. So a really important thing to think about is the speed of your wheel. You want your wheel to be going at full speed while you're centering. You don't want to be doing any of the work, you want the wheel to be doing the work. So this part of the clay is perfectly centered. This part is a little bit wobbly, so I'm just going to adjust that. And how I do that, is I'm just going to increase the pressure down and in very slightly and just allow the clay enough rotations to move perfectly into the center of the wheel where I want it. So there you go. That's my clay centered. Practice that 100 times and you'll be a pro. Come back for my next video which is going to be all about coning up. And if you really want to learn more about pottery, then check out my online pottery club and get monthly tutorials, lots of pottery tips and techniques, and loads more help and advice from my friendly community. The link is below the video.